Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to install a wall mount range hood. This is just a one from Amazon, a Cosmo, the COS-6391. Let's get started. Then take your bracket on the back of your hood. Measure up to the screw wall, which I have 11 inches. And that will be our top mark. Measure up from your bottom line, 11 inches, and that's where your bracket will be placed. Find your center. Between here, I have 41 inches, so 20 and a half, that will be my center. Put the bracket on. Mark your holes. Quarter inch drill bit. Drill each hole. Take your plastic peg. Push it in the hole. All right, next step once you get your plastic pegs in, take your mount with the tabs facing up. Take a screw. Now, if you have a stud anywhere in here, which I do right here, I drilled an extra hole in my bracket to put a screw through the hole to the stud to make it stronger. This is something you don't have to do. I just did it for extra security. Next, let's hang the hood, see how it turned out. Next step would be to go under your hood. Mark where these little holes are. And then pull your hood back off, drill a hole, put your plastic bag in, put your hood back on, then we'll put a screw in it and now hold it in place. Install the brackets for the chimney. There's an outer chimney bracket and an inner chimney bracket. The inner is longer, the outer is obviously shorter. We'll start with the outer. Each chimney piece is, says outer chimney. We'll start with that one first. Put your bracket in. plastic wall anchors. Take your outer bracket, and screw it into place. Measure down from your ceiling one inch.
your next, once you draw down one inch, find your center. Line up your bracket. Mark out your screw holes. Next, we're going to want to fill up all the boot protective layer. I didn't hook up the exhaust yet. I'll probably go to the ceiling and out the side of the house but everybody's different, so I won't show that in this video. Now the reason I left the blue protective seal on this is because I don't want it to scratch the stainless as it's moving up and down. Once I put the two screws in the sides in the bottom here, I move this up, put the two screws in the sides here, then I'll take a knife and cut around the edge very lightly and that'll peel right off nice and clean. And next, don't forget to install your oil drip tray. Alrighty guys, we finished with our project, went in pretty smoothly, everything looks good. I think the longest part of the project was pulling out a blue protective layer off it. Lights are in the front, I like that, lights up the whole cook top area. <clears throat> Fan works pretty good, that right there is low. Pretty quiet. I can feel a suction. Later on, I'll cut the hole in the top, run my tube out to go out the side of the house. Let me guys know what you think of it in the comments. Thanks for watching.